Hello there! We are here to predict the prelims. I had to refill this again because for some reason it didn't update since the end of round 23 but I've done all the clicks now, all the right clicks and we have got Collingwood GWS and Brisbane Carlton. Two of the teams from the elimination finals have made it to the prelims which I think is no surprise. I said before the finals that the Saints and the Swans will not win the flag. Anyone else can. Saints and the Swans got eliminated. The Swans were close to beating Carlton but got eliminated. Um, the two teams that said we couldn't do it, didn't do it. And I, and I also said that the remaining six teams can win the flag, and anyone can. So I'm not really surprised that Carlton and GWS got through, considering how they've been this season. GWS, I think they won four of their first 12 games. I think after round 15, there were four teams below them. One was Carlton, uh, then there was Hawthorne, North Melbourne, and West Coast. The only teams below, Haw below Carlton and GWS after round 15 well, Hall 4, North Melbourne, West Coast. Um, I think that says a lot. In the last nine rounds, they uh, did quite a lot. <laughs> Carlton got some massive wins and the Giants got some great wins as well. I went on a big win streak. Both teams did. Um, I was more impressed by Carlton's run just because they smashed Port Adelaide in their streak. Uh, they smashed Collingwood, beat Melbourne. But the Giants as well, they set a record for the most grounds won at in a single season. And when you consider like they lost their Optus to West Coast, like they didn't win at Optus. Despite not winning there, despite both WA teams being so bad, they still got the record for most grounds won at. So that's very, very impressive. They've both been very impressive, the Giants and Carlton. Um, and they both recovered their seasons. The Giants had a bad start anyway. So they just went on a great run second half of the season. And Carlton had a okay start then slipped away had a terrible middle to the season and, and and ever since that Port Adelaide game I guess or I think maybe before that around that period they were incredible so uh fair play to both teams and once again I'm not surprised and I also said last week I wouldn't be surprised if the grand final was Collingwood Carlton or GWS Brisbane or even GWS Carlton <laughs> that could happen I said any of the six teams could win and uh, obviously any of the four teams remaining uh, can win the flag um before I actually predict, here's what I want. Uh, here's what I want. So, I want the Brisbane Lions to win the flag. Uh, that's ultimately what I want. Uh, they're my favourite team after Hawthorne. Hawthorne are the team I support. I don't support anyone else. I don't support the Lions. But I like the Lions. I like them a lot. They're my favourite club after Hawthorne. So, to see them win a flag, I think would be amazing. Especially considering they were away from the finals a long time. 20, was it 2017 they got the spoon? They got the spoon pretty recently. Then they started making the finals. They finished second twice in a row. They finished fourth once, I think, and once sixth. Something like that. They were in the finals every single year for quite a few years now. But their finals record wasn't too great. Out on straight sets at one point. Uh, they won their week one game, then got smashed in the prelim by Geelong, I think it was. The year Geelong lost to Richmond in the grand final. Uh, there was a few other instances as well. They were not good enough in the finals until last year. Last year I think they were quite impressive uh, beating Richmond and Melbourne in close games. Melbourne especially the MCG against the Premiers. Uh, that was pretty that was pretty damn good and they lost they got smashed by Geelong but Geelong were on fire that year so I think they let them off for that one. I, I was actually impressed by them last year and I thought to myself looking at the mid-season looking at the trades here and there looking at their squad it looked like they were going downwards considering the ladder positions. They were second, second, and they started slipping a bit down. But I thought to myself in mid-season, th there's something there. They're not going down any further. I think they're going back up. And I was correct. I predicted them to uh, improve and also <laughs> win the flag, which is a big prediction. But look, I predicted Collingwood to be my minor premiers. I predicted Brisbane to win the flag, and I predicted... I'm pretty sure Brisbane calling the grand final, so it, it's looking okay, <laughs> prediction-wise. It's looking okay. Uh, the point is, I want them to do it, and I thought they'd be back stronger, and they are. And now their finals record is looking a bit better, especially after that Port Adelaide game. Now, to be fair, Port Adelaide got embarrassed today by the Giants, but still, um, it was an impressive victory because Port were chasing after them for half the game. It's early until the third quarter where you know, Port, you know the, the Brisbane Lions really started to hit full gear. When the Lions hit top gear, they're hard to stop, especially at the Gabba, which is why I can't see Carlton doing it. But if Carlton do it, if Carlton pull this off, I will want Carlton to win the flag. So on that side, one of these two teams, I want to win the flag. 
Um, I don't like Collingwood. I'm sorry. I, I, I know it annoys a lot of people, but I, I don't like them, right? They're annoying when they win. <laughs> yes, they've got some good players. And, you know, when they play well, you know, they can be entertaining to watch. Fair enough. But when they're winning, they're very annoying. I'm sorry, but they are. <laughs> Do I need to give any more reasons? That they're, they're like Liverpool in the Premier League. Liverpool, I don't even hate Liverpool. But when Liverpool are winning, they are very annoying. I get the same vibe of Collingwood. So, yeah, it is what it is. The Giants, I'm not really a big fan of either. Although, I would rather the Giants beat Collingwood. But that's partly because... It's an easier grand final for the Lions or, or Carlton. I'm not underestimating the Giants. I'm saying the Giants can win the flag. I think they can. Um, I just feel like if, if I'm going to back the Lions or Carlton in the grand final, I'd rather they play Giants than Collingwood. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Then again, Collingwood have choked more grand finals than any other, any other team. So maybe they'd rather play Collingwood. Carlton and Collingwood would be a bang of a grand final. Uh, I hope it doesn't happen though. You know what? The, the grand final I want... Brisbane GWS. Let's let's do it. All right. Neither team has a good finals record at the MCG. Not not just finals, just in general regular season. Neither team has a good MCG record. Two two non-Victorian teams. First time that's happened. First time that would happen since 2006. West Coast Sydney. Um, apparently, it's only happened three times. Okay, maybe not. I mean, it happened in 05, 06, and 04. I think. Uh, yeah, Brisbane Port and then Sydney West Coast twice. Uh, first time since then that there's not been uh, that there's uh, been a Victorian a non-Victorian grand final so I just thought that'd be interesting but in my opinion I don't think uh, I think one of the top two will win and one of the el elimination finalists will win that's what I think will happen I don't think it will be Collingwood Brisbane and I don't think it will be Giants Carlton so here's what I'm going for, okay? And I know it's going to annoy a few people, but it is what it is, okay? I'm going to go Brisbane to win. I'm going to go Giants to win. I can't call this grand final. It's too hard to call. I think that if... Sorry, why did I go... Yeah, I did, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm calling it. We're going to have a non-Victorian grand final, my friends. It's going to happen. I'm telling you right now, okay? That's all you need to know. Um... Yeah, um, Carlton winning, I think, would be a great story. I think some people would find it annoying if Carlton won, but it's, they've suffered a lot. <laughs> I, I, them winning a flag wouldn't be the worst thing. It's just one flag. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, and, and uh, someone said in a stream chat earlier, right, Carlton winning the flag would be very annoying. It'd be similar to Richmond. But, like, Richmond in 2018, sorry, 2017 was actually, like, that wasn't that bad. That was actually, that was quite special. They'd, it's been a long time since they won the flag, and then, Winning that, yes, I wanted Adelaide to win that grand final, but that was a special moment. They only got annoying after they won three out of four. Like, then it's, then it's just like, stop. Someone needs to stop this dominance. I, I think Carlson winning one flag would not be so bad. If Carlson won like three flags in a row, sure, I'd find him annoying too, but I, I think it would be all right. So if, if the Lions or Carlton won the flag, I'd be pretty content with that. Um, and the Giants, well, I guess rather them than, than Collingwood, so <laughs> we'll put it that way. So I want uh, the Lions to win, and if it's not them, I want it to be Carlton. Uh, if it's not them, I guess Giants. Um, I know I, I predicted the Giants to finish last, uh, which is quite funny. <laughs> I put them uh, below Hawthorne. Uh, there's something I was convinced by. I, I thought we would we would not be worse. We would. I, I, I was going to say like we would not be. We would not be worse than the Giants. Them winning the flag would be kind of silly, but content, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm, that would be a funny thing to react to, to be honest. I'm going to react to my season predictions after the season ends. Um, I haven't done it yet, simply because I predicted the Giants to be last. So if they win the flag, it would be really funny <laughs> to, to watch back. Um, but yeah, I've gotten predictions wrong before. I mean, I put Collingwood 17th, like literally last year, I think. <laughs> I put 3 or 3rd this year, so, you know, uh, I've got plenty wrong. But again, I, I said Collingwood minor premieres. I called it. I got it correct. Last year, I predicted Melbourne out on straight sets. I got that correct last year, not this year. Um, I also predicted a Brisbane flag, which could still happen. So I, I got some great predictions, but also some really bad ones. But, you know, it's, it's not completely terrible. Uh, but a lot of people disagreed last year, but I said Collingwood minor premiership. I was correct. I was correct. 
Uh, but we shall see. Um, now that the Collingwood have made them uh, have, have what have finished first, I just hope they lose now. <laughs> Melbourne couldn't do it. Look, Melbourne could have done it as well. They bloody they hit 28 behinds in two weeks, and most of those were easy kicks. They could have beaten Collingwood, and they could have beaten Carlton. It's, it's, I know some of them are blaming the umpires for the Carlton game. Nah, you lost because you hit 17 behinds. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the, that's that's just the truth. Um, it's, it, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, and for Port Adelaide, I think it's a pretty embarrassing end, to be honest. It's like, I was a bit frustrated with them because I thought maybe against Port the Giants, they'd be a bit competitive. They'd like come out of a point to prove they'd been embarrassed before at home and in a, a, a prelim final against Western Bulldogs, for example, and other games as well. I thought to myself, oh, Port will come out. Yes, they lost to Brisbane. Brisbane are very good. They'll come out. They'll, 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 they'll play good. They're at home. They'll be all right. Yes, the Giants are a good team that could beat them, but they'll at least be competitive. Nah. <laughs> the only reason they're in the game is because the Giants hit like more behinds than Melbourne, I think. Um, the Giants missed a lot of shots in that game. If it wasn't, if the Giants could kick straight, they could hit 100 plus points by three quarter time. Like they, they were on fire. Um, how they didn't hit 100 in total, I have no idea. They absolutely dominated the first half. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like a very embarrassing end for Port. Uh, Melbourne also out on straight sets. Second year in a row. Second year in a row. I've lost my speech, sorry. Uh, so, that's, so that's pretty bad as well. But yeah, they did lose two close games. Um, and as I said, like, I've, I've, I, I brought it up in a community post, but like I said that is it too harsh to say that the Saints way to the final spot? I also went further and said that the dogs, crows, cats and tigers would have done better. Um, I kind of stand by that. <laughs> it's, it's just because the, the Saints limped to the, to the, to the eight. Uh, they were good in the first six rounds. Then they were not good again until round 23. Like in, the, in that whole middle chunk of the season, they didn't really play that well. They just got some wins here and there that were enough to get them in the eight. And I think their great start was a big factor as well. Overall, I don't think like, they were not playing like a team that was ready for the finals. And I just knew they'd lose the first week. And they did. <laughs> they did lose the first week. Um, Swans, I guess, didn't waste the space because uh, they were quite competitive against Carlton. But they were only there because of the goal on Pirate um, against Adelaide. So uh, yeah, I mean, Adelaide should have been there instead of Sydney. <laughs> but in hindsight, I would have swapped Adelaide for St Kilda, then it would have been a better final series generally. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just saying if you swap the Saints and the Swans with, I don't know, and maybe not the, I mean, it has to be the Swans because of the umpire decision, but the Swans were not a waste of a spot. They still played well. The Saints did feel like a waste. Is it just me? Am I too harsh? I probably am too harsh, but it, you know, opinions are opinions. And it is what it is. But this is my prediction. All right, the Giants and the Lions to win. I'm, I'm going for it. I was not brave enough last week. Last week, I predicted Carlton and I thought I'm going to predict Port. Why? Because I didn't think that both elimination finalists would win that week. But they did. Carlton and GWS both won. If I had tipped GWS, I would have tipped Melbourne. Because I don't have enough bravery. I don't have enough cojones. Okay, I don't want to say the English version because demonetization. But I didn't have enough cojones to... to Tip both Carlton and GWS. So I'm saying it with chest, with chest. The grand final will be non-Victorian, my friends. Just like 2019, the Giants will upset Collingwood, but just like 2019, they will not embarrass themselves in the grand final. They might still lose, but they're not gonna embarrass themselves like they did against Richmond in 2019. And as for Brisbane, well, their first grand final since 04, I think it can happen. I think for sure it can happen. So uh, we shall see, but again, if Carlton did it, if Carlton were the first team to not win, sorry, the first team to win at the Gabba this season, fair enough. The Lions have not lost there. They've beaten literally everyone there that they've played, apart from Carlton and five, five other teams. They've beaten everyone else there, including the big guns at the Gabba. They've been bloody incredible there. If Carlton win that fixture, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> uh, but I just can't see it. And obviously Collingwood can beat GWS. I think Collingwood are the team to beat. As harsh as I've been on them, they are the team to beat. Uh, but you let me know what you think down below. Um, personally, I think Collingwood are still the favorites, despite what I said. Um, but any of these four teams can win the flag. Um, this is gonna annoy Carlton fans, but I think Carlton are the weakest team there. Sorry. <laughs> I think you can win the flag, but I think you're the weakest team there. I think the Giants are better than Carlton.
<laughs> is that controversial? I'm gonna annoy half of the AFL fan base now. He doesn't like Collingwood. He's dissed Richmond. <laughs> he's dissed St Kilda. He's dissed Sydney. And now he's dissed Carlton. And he doesn't like GWS. Oh no. So many fans are gonna be swarming into the comments. How dare you? How dare you? And then ironically, the Beach Long fans are like, oh, thank you, David. We would have done well in the finals. I, I agree. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Actually, there's another thing. Like, I mentioned, like, this team, this team, this team, and this team would do better than St. Kilda. Didn't mention Essendon. So that's another fan base I've annoyed. Goodbye. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it slow.